Welcome climate viewers. My name is Jim Lee, the climate viewer guy with facts minus fear porn. It is October 13th, 2018, and I've got some great news. A permanent ban on geoengineering has just been proposed by 110 groups. Hands off Mother Earth, 110 civil society organizations and popular movements demand an immediate stop to climate geoengineering. If you guys want to be a part of this, if you want to sign your name to it, email manifesto at geoengineeringmonitor.org. Basically, they put out a manifesto in writing that you know they're sending to world leaders right now that calls for a ban on all geoengineering field experiments and deployment, a stop to all open air experiments, including the Scopex project in Tucson, Arizona which proposes to inject sulfate particles and other materials into the atmosphere to test their effectiveness at blocking sun. The ICE 911 project in Alaska, which would scatter millions of tiny glass bubbles over the Arctic ice to slow melting and reflect sunlight. The Marine Cloud Brightening Project in Monterey Bay, California, which would inject salt water into clouds to whiten them and reflect sunlight. And the Oceanos Ocean Fertilization Project in Chile. All three U.S. experiments are planned on original and traditional indigenous territories. You know, all three of those experiments are planned on Indian reservations. Can you believe it? I can. A stop to all large-scale carbon capture and storage and direct ca air capture projects because they perpetuate fossil fuel extraction and combustion and a stop to all bioenergy with carbon capture and storage projects which besides being unproven and not technically feasible would have grave consequences for land use, food, sovereignty, environment, and biodiversity. Support for the biodiversity and alternatives to confront climate change that are already proven and less risky but are sidelined in climate change deliberations namely why don't you just plant some trees because that's the best geoengineering you could possibly do this is already posted up on climateviewer.com here are the contacts from the etc group climate justice alliance indigenous environmental network embassy of indigenous peoples friends of the earth international la via campancina and biofuel watch four projects that they talk about are um listed in detail on geoengineering monitor you got the scopex which is david keese um experiment supposed to happen at the worldview spaceport the ice 911 project which is listed here the marine cloud brightening project pirates of the pacific about the oceanos ocean iron fertilization um, experiment russ george the rogue geoengineer did this a couple of years he made an algae bloom that was visible from space all of this is available also on their map um, and it's at map.geoengineeringmonitor.org where they've got all of these geoengineering experiments and some weather modification experiments I listed. ICE 911 is up here in Barrow, Alaska. Um, Scopex is down here in Arizona. You can see it right there. And uh, the list goes on. So I hope that you guys will dig into this. Um, it's pretty fascinating stuff. I'm pretty stoked. I mean, this isn't everything that I would want to hear. Um, I actually contacted Jim Thomas and the boys over there from Etc. Group and uh, Biofuels Watch about the, the chemtrail phenomena and the doping of jet fuel, the Access 1 and 2 flights, and the ND Max flights. But I've got three videos that they created, one on um, marine geoengineering, one on BEX, um, and then a final one on solar radiation management or SRM, spraying chemicals in the sky to block sunlight. So I hope that you guys will check this out. Um, read the manifesto. You can download it here. Um, I also locally mirrored it on climateviewer.com. And uh, this is a great step in the right direction for uh, 110 groups to come out like this and say, not we don't even want your experiments and we want a permanent ban on geoengineering. Now, of course, geoengineering was partially banned at the um, Convention for Biological Diversity, 
and uh, that's not that's not taking it far enough as we can see here this is the convention for biological diversity and they said that no climate related geoengineering attack activities that may affect biodiversity take place until there is adequate scientific basis on which to justify such activities and they go on so it's a kind of ban there are other um you know laws involved in this uh if you go over to weathermodificationhistory.com and scroll down to the law section right here you can go to an article on climateviewer.com called weather modification laws in the united states of america and in there i list all of these laws there's the convention for biological diversity the united nations convention on the law of the sea and the london convention for the prevention of marine pollution by dumping of waste and other matter these are all the laws that are involved in geoengineering and they're 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 taking it a step further and they're saying enough is enough geoengineering needs to be banned outright completely and wholly i fully agree with that um, in fact i intend to update my environmental modification accountability act to include um, some of this literature because you know i personally believe that we do need to strengthen the laws at least get some transparency where it comes to weather modification activities if not an outright ban for that as well so i hope that we can end atmospheric experimentation without notification but even better why don't we just ban geoengineering altogether and that would be the best situation for everybody a permanent ban on geoengineering please read this article download the manifesto you can see it right here you know it's not too long won't take you too long to read through it and understand that there are groups that are pushing back and i'm so proud to be uh, a part of this i've been a longtime supporter of the etc group sylvia ribiero pat mooney and jim thomas we will put a stop to this geoengineering will become illegal there are so many people who are outraged over the geoengineering going on over their houses we need to make our voices heard so please contact them by emailing manifesto at geoengineeringmonitor.org and give them your support. And while you're at it, feel free to support me as well. Everything on climateviewer.com is open source and free of charge. Uh, if you want to give a one-time do donation on PayPal or if you want to support me monthly on Patreon, I would greatly appreciate that. A ban on geoengineering, a permanent real ban on geoengineering. Let's help them make this happen. Support the Etc. Group, Friends of the Earth, Biofuel Watch, this hands-off Mother Earth campaign. I think that it's a great thing and I hope that you guys will watch the three videos I recently um, uploaded to my channel. Uh, they'll get you up to speed on what these um, technologies are and read the manifesto, download it, send it to everybody you know. That would be a good thing. And share this article and video so that others know that the pushback has begun and you can be a part of it. Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, attack ideas, not people.